Most 90 Day Fiancé stars know that Angela Deem's offensive actions are wrong, but many don't criticize her for a few reasons. The 55-year-old Mima has been on the TLC show since 2018 with her husband, Michael Alassanmi. Historically, Angela's always been somewhat aggressive towards her Nigerian beau. Once, she threw a cake on his face in the middle of a busy street. Recently, Angela's behavior has become even more alarming, as she doesn't treat Michael with respect and continuously calls him names. Overall, Angela Deem doesn't let Michael talk or look at other women while she seems to openly flirt with other men and even her co-stars. Angela even tried to hack Michael's phone illegally, and when she failed to do that, she called him ugly son of a b asterisk asterisk ch. After seeing Angela Deem's inappropriate actions on the show, her co-stars choose not to call her out. During the Happily Ever After Season 6 Tell All, host Sean Robinson revealed that Angela also took a lift from Dr. Michael a bang, which she forgot to tell Michael about. Instead of apologizing to him, Angela told him to shut up. At the moment, other castmates either laughed or ignored Angela. No one wants to get attacked by Angela. 90 Day Fiancé viewers have noticed that whenever Angela Dean gets upset with someone, she tries to insult them in every possible way. A fan said, via Reddit, don't fight with, her, you just end up dirty. In fact, Angela has openly mocked her own husband by talking about his private parts on national TV just because he wasn't picking up her calls. When Michael finally stood up to Angela, she started planning to divorce him. Thus, if any cast members dare to call out Angela, they'd have to be ready to suffer the negative consequences, possible insults, verbal abuse, or even altercations. Some cast members are actually friends with her. It's also possible that some 90 Day Fiancé stars ignore Angela Deem's behavior because they're friends with her in real life. For instance, Tiffany Franco and Julia Trubkina appear to have a special bonding with Angela. Tiffany met Angela when she came to Maryland, and the duo had a fun get-together. They posted a bunch of pictures and even held an Instagram live session. At the time, fans criticized Tiffany for hanging out with Angela, but the backlash didn't make a difference. In turn, Julia also shared a couple of happy pictures alongside Angela. She called Angela her 90-day fiancé mommy and wrote, I do not depend on the opinions of others, I always have my own opinion. I adore her. Angela's co-stars don't want to rock the boat. Many 90-day fiancé cast members know that Angela can be verbally abusive at times. However, they might not want to point that out in order to avoid upsetting TLC and its production crew. It is possible that the network hasn't banned Angela because she brings viewership. The show producers let her lash out at other people and behave badly because they know she's vital to the success of the show. For instance, a fan mentioned, she's TLC's biggest moneymaker. At the moment, everybody is talking about her, why would they want to stop that? Her 90 Day Fiancé co-stars might also understand this, and therefore don't do anything that would jeopardize their own reality TV careers.